Welcome to my YouTube channel. Have you ever wondered how people create automated Reddit reading videos? There's this big trend on YouTube right now where people are using computer-generated voices to read Reddit threads. A couple weeks ago, I thought I could do this, so I did. Okay, I wanna talk about all the components in order to actually automate your video. There's kind of three main things. First one is data collection, and then the second one is voice modeling. This is pretty easy. There's a lot of models out there that are just open sourced. Google text-to-speech is the one I'm using. I'm not sure what everyone else is using, but it's pretty easy to find them. The last thing is actually the video creation. So you need to find some library and some programming language. I'm using Python that allows you to actually create video clips. Under the first one, this is kind of the biggest part of the process along with the actual video creation, data collection. So some things you need to think about. First off, what subreddits do you use? Basically, you wanna select subreddits that have primarily text because that's actually what the video is going to be displaying. Some examples are slash relationships, ask Reddit, that's a pretty common one. Reddit has an API, which stands for Application Programming Interface, which allows you to collect the data that's on their site. So anytime someone makes a post, that data is now accessible through the Reddit API and that's how you access it for when you want to automate your videos. Python has something called Pro, which is a library that someone created in order to access the Reddit API. It's just a simplified wrapper around the API, and you can use this to collect all the top comments, for example, all the top posts, and this is how you select the content of your videos. For me, I selected the title and the comments, and also the upvotes. I'm selecting posts based on the amount of upvotes they have, and that's specific to each Reddit. So you might have Reddits that are pretty big and their top posts tend to have like 10,000 plus upvotes, whereas Reddits that are smaller but still have interesting content might have only 500 upvotes for their top comments. Like I said, you select your top posts based on how many upvotes they have, and also you might wanna select the top 10 comments, for example, because there might be a lot of upvoted comments at the time. The last thing, for data collection is a data structure. You need to save, once you collect this data, you need to save it in a useful format so that you can actually create the videos out of it. The simplest top level explanation would be a list of dictionaries. A list is just an array of items and a dictionary is a key value pair. So one example, my list, and each item in the list is one video. You have a dictionary, title, mapping to the content of the title, upvotes, and then that's some number, so that could be a thousand, a list of comments as well, which has the same stuff that's in this top level dictionary. And you'll just have a bunch of these items. Like I said, for the voice model, I'm just using Google Text to Speech. It's available through Python with Pip if you're familiar with that. And the last thing, video creation. So because I'm using Python, I need to find a way to create all the frames and then string them together. But the way I did it on my application was I created video clips for each title and then for each comment. And one thing you'll notice about Reddit videos is that they tend to break up the displaying of the text by sentence. For example, you'll have one frame of the video where it says, hi, my name is, and then there would be a period because it's the end of the sentence. I don't know why I'm saying this is the end of the sentence, but uh, this is just an example. And then the next frame would be everything from before, and then it would be the next sentence. Uh, in this case, I would just say, Garrett. For each sentence, I create a video clip and then I string all those video clips together. The way I do this in Python is with a library called MoviePy. What MoviePy does is it gives you a really simple editor where you can programmatically create frames. So what I do is I create the individual frames in Photoshop, so like the background. In my case, it's pretty easy. It's just a black background. And then I have pictures of like the Reddit up arrows and the Reddit down arrows. And then I've got my little branding logo in the top right. And then it's just the text. So you can create frames with MoviePie that are just text and you can insert those at some pixel distance in the frame. So in my case, I've got a text box and that text box appears some distance D1 down from the top and some distance D2 from the left. And that's how you position the items in your frame and you just make composites of a bunch of different images that you have stored on your computer somewhere. That's pretty much the broad overview of how this stuff works. I could definitely go into like an actual code overview at some point if you're interested in seeing that, but this is kind of the broad overview. So I hope you liked this video. Uh, I hope you found it interesting. Let me know if you want me to expand on this some more. If you want to actually learn this yourself, it's probably better to just kind of go through it. What I've given you here is essentially all you need to know 
and then it's just a matter of playing around to actually create the algorithm that does this. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to hear more and always get notified when I release new videos. I'll see you next time.